In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to import a PNG file with a transparent background and add a print bleed so that you have a little room for error. And in the next few days, we'll be looking at some other types of, uh, you know, print and cut projects that you might also want to have a print bleed, but aren't just like this one. So I'm going to go to import and I'm going to bring in, uh, today we're going to do the cartoon dragon. Click on OK. So you bring in the file, and one of the things I've always learned is that it's a good idea to ungroup these things because sometimes when you start missing, messing with a cut layer, something happens to the print layer, it just disappears. So, but if you ungroup it, that doesn't seem to happen. So I'm going to go to Object Ungroup, and then I'm going to select a cut layer, and the way I'm going to add a bleed is to simply increase the stroke. So I'm going to come over, and right now the stroke is set to none, which is what happens when you import these uh, PNG with a transparent background. So I'm going to select color instead, and it's black, which is the color that's on the clip art part, so that's the color I want. And then I'm going to just increase this width and bring it out a little way so I have a little bit of room for error. Now what happens when you increase that stroke is increasing it, it's not moving the cut line. The cut line's in the same place. It's just adding black on either side of that cut line. One thing I want to do is temporarily change that stroke color to red so that it's going to be clearer when you see the difference. So I'm going to make it red. And again, what's happened is it's expanded both in, into the image and then away from the image. So, but here's the solution for that because again, you don't, you only want to go away from the image. It's just to take the layer and drag it down behind the print layer because the print layer has a transparent background. And as you can see, let me bring it back up here. See how thick it is? And then when I bring it down, then it's only on the outside of the shape, which is what you want. So then I come back over and I'll just change this to, uh, whoops, let's select it first and then change it to black, back to black. Okay. And now then you have your black, you know, bleed uh, layer or bleed line. Now then, because you still, that's still your cut line, you want to leave this at, um, at cut because you want it to both print, you know, to get that bleed and to cut. And then of course the print layer is still set to print plus cut print. Then before you do, you know, make copies, if you're making copies, let's say this is a sticker or something, then you would want to come back and do object group. And the reason for that, if you leave it ungrouped, you start making duplicates, sometimes the, the order here can get flipped around where suddenly your cut layer is on top of your print layer and you don't want that. You want it to be behind. So basically that's how that works. And then tomorrow we'll have a look at what happens if you have a PNG that doesn't, does not have a transparent background or along the same line if it's a JPEG or a different kind of image. And then I'll show you a different method to use for those.